with new turbo model release we can render very fast actually many in just in one step watch my previous video how you can do this but we can take step next we can now render very fast animations for this i would recommend for you to use it some turbo uh, super fast sdxl you can find them easy if you're going on civet ai or in a browser just type turbo and several of them come up one of the recommend for you to use it in the video it's one that requires more than just one step because for the animations we need apply the noise and other stuff um so we need at least maybe two three steps but for this i will use it just 10 or 20 steps as example and i'm going to use the turbovision excel which is super fast model require only a few steps to create great image First, we're going to test right here. You can see I downloaded this um, checkpoint and it's active. We'll go text to image and let's type Pokemon just to test. We want to start maybe with a lower samples. Let's go start with maybe three samples and we'll take CFG about two. If you work with other models, they actually require sampling step just one and cfg to one so require a lower but will pop up a little bit to test let's go ahead click generate you only notice how it's fast ultra fast generating so it did create something but with this current mod or checkpoint it is um require a little bit more than three steps so if we increase to the 10 steps we should getting already a much better result and it still take very fast Okay, let's go ahead next we'll take cfg this and pop up to 20 steps i just want to verify what is going on okay and here's the result very look very good on 20 step sampling which is much faster and again cfg scale you want to keep it too you can increase higher let's go just example as a 10 but then the result come up a little bit more um wonky i won't say name or kind of not necessarily what I'm looking, I'm going for realistic. Um, CFG1 still be not bad, but when we work with animations, it's provide a little bit less flexibility for us, but we can try both of them. So let's go right now, we'll just keep it all the settings. CFG1 for test, 20 steps. We have it Euler A, and we have it also as SDXL 512 by 512. We're going to use it the forum for this animation and inside the run we'll have the same checkpoint use it we take steps and let's drop down to 20 steps next we're going inside the keyframes and right here in the cfg we'll going to switch this to one so we'll just use the one as well if we're going string down to motion animation i want to take a zoom because it won't be relevant with this amount of low noise so if you want more zoom we probably need to apply a little bit more steps and we need to apply more um, on cfg variants so it will apply it better zoom in this case doesn't matter we'll just keep it one okay and output we're going to put it 12 frames per second and we have it also 20 let's verify it Euler key frames we have it 120 so it's about 10 seconds i think it give it us and i want frames remove the cutting so it does not blend between two frames it will take a little bit longer but i want to sharp on every step creating for us without blending between okay we'll leave it a string schedule same and also let's go check a couple of things right here anti-blur 0.1 work just fine okay i think this is good let's go ahead and click generate and this should process quite a bit fast for animations i think it's one of the better way to do it and let me pull out server and right here you can see and you know what what i did i did not change so let me interrupt because i don't want default what i want to do i want to go in prompts here and this is what i forgot to do so let's go ahead we'll just try pokemon and let's go convert our pokemon to dragon next we're going to take convert maybe to snake and let's convert back to pokemon so it's covered maybe we should 
convert to pokeball but i think that is kind of could be fun so let's go generate now because it's what i want to see it okay goodbye our bunny notice we have it some face sometimes i notice it does um, come up with other elements and we can change this by going and apply um, maybe cfg to the two points then we'll have it okay so right here let's generate and you can see we have it pokemon come up i'm going to pause till render complete it shouldn't take that long if we look on the server you can see it's process actually quite a bit fast each frame again this is going 512 by 512 so it's quite a bit larger size it does very good job and you can see we have it to 25 percent it was should click and switch to the dragon um problem with the it could be a little bit fast change so we'll see what's going on there you can see right there it's already changing face yep add teeth so it starts switching to the look like a dragon a little bit and i'm sure this probably wings come up better okay yeah with the irritation you can see the tail come up more as a dragon tail eyes actually doing very good transformation okay so uh, dragon almost completed we about 50 it's when we should switch to the snake type and it actually did a very good job i like how they keep it eyes in same places so it's look much better in animations and this is rendering 120 frames 512 by 512 it's actually very impressive speed on rendering okay i do like how it's slow morphing 65 but you can see it's face become more like snakes and i do like how they all turn to the snake as well okay so now we become to a little bit total bizarre i don't know what is on the back like squirrely snake i think what system try to recognize and remove everything create more a snake tail but now we go to the pokemon and that is should actually try to go back there you go okay so right here it took us uh, six minutes 45 seconds to render 120 frames 512 by 512 so let's preview our animation you can see actually it's not bad consistency was keeping i like skipping eyes on same place and there we have it our weird transformations on a pokemon on pikachu again this is, was just a basic um, setup nothing was done fancy here so let's go ahead try a little bit change right there it's a string noise we'll go to reduce this to point four this is will reduce quite a bit of the morphing as well fg let's go pop up this to two so we have it our string decrease on the noise we increase our cfg on two we leave it everything same included like motions nothing here um same steps we can have a try steps 10 actually let's go text to image and just verify here so we put it 10 steps 512 cfg1 i think this is about right just preview what do we get with the 10 steps we're actually getting very good let's go now back to our the form same all the stuff we'll go to output 12 frames we'll leave it everything as default and let's go generate now it should be taking much less time because we cut actually in a half we put it only 10 steps to do and we'll keep it the same prompt as before we have it pokemon dragon snake pokemon so here is interesting because when you type pokemon pikachu come up first but actually first as created was raiden pokemon and uh, in a game first i think it was a bulbazar so but everyone for some reason like pikachu the first notice right here with the reducing of the steps actually it's complex still a bit more increasing which is kind of interesting on this new turbo than when you increase amount of steps the complexity is actually re reduced in the image so let's go ahead and see 
I think the result will be different because remember we're a little bit gimp with uh, um, the noise type and right here beginning is good and we can see it's actually done not bad job switch too fast to the dragon it's kind of flip between images snakes I don't see too much consistency and then go back to the Pokemon so it's kind of very fast switching I think the reason is for that because we did gone into our string and right here reducing so we can increase this which is give it a little bit more smoothness the actual what i want to try it switch to the new um sdxl which allowed us super fast switch and that one will be sdxl turbo 1.5 fp16 this is the special new checkpoint which allowed super fast uh, creation with one step so let's go try run this to the forum see how that one will create images for us okay so right here we have it rsdx model is loaded we have it pokemon and this is designed actually to use it one step only so cfg one and sampling one let's go and generate preview how it's come up and you can see it's actually come up not bad problem is if we in these sampling steps let's go put it 10 as other ones generated you'll notice actually it will be degrading kind of so we'll probably want to keep at least around two maybe three steps that is will provide for us okay let's go three steps here kind of providing but still a little bit messy and again in save G if we have it this one two two to the two steps let's go check and right there is noticed on it's much worse so we needed a cfg1 and we can probably push this maybe up to five steps we do need to have it sampling steps it will uh, provide for us animations in this case let's go now the forum same things we'll just go to the run steps let's go down to five steps so we'll have it small ones let's go to keyframes fg will it remove this to the one and I will leave it string maybe a little bit higher so this is will higher overlay frames and let's go maybe even eight the better the more kind of right can be because we're overlaying with a higher noise in this case so we can see how it will up. actually you know what let's go with original 6.5 we'll just have that one this that so that everything is same prompts will just leave it same as before output same as here and let's go click generate see how fast it is will process and if we look right there you can see it's actually going ultra fast so very very fast processing we can see right here it's about two minutes taking all to generate which is for 120 frames it's quite a bit impressive here, right here we're going to our 25 percent it's when we switch to our second prompt and we'll see yep right here you can see it's already start conversion okay now we start switching slowly to the snake and you can see actually that's not bad color start changing and spot so it's also tail and after 75 percent we're now switching back to the pokemon so morphing back and it's actually going back so the ears yep start cleaning actually it's performed quite a bit fast how i said it's two minutes just a little bit over two minutes it's very impressive okay it's done here let's go ahead upload our video and let's preview so you can see actually it does not bad conversion to the dragon next going to the um snake and after this yep it did have it a little bit, I think, on the end closer here, almost like game pixelization. I think this is going from the sharpness, but this additional adjustment and tweaking can be applied. So next, what I want to do is actually go in the keyframes and we're going to the noise. And let's just try pop up noise up to 9, 0.9 here. See how that will do. Okay, let's go ahead and generate same stuff. And you can see right here because almost no noise applied. Now it's just a mess happening i think i'm 
actually going to interrupt because it's pointless at this time. General what I recommend before you can go inside the text to image and just try here. Okay, just same things what we have done on other ones. Can render and see how it's come up. Oh, nice. Okay, let's go one to create it. And when you find something that you kind of like it, then we can use the same prompt everything inside our the forum. Well, hopefully you find this kind of test experiment with a new super fast Turbo SD Excel. Um, almost real time render and creating animations is useful for you and you will be exploring as well and please share um, your finding what you find kind of interesting new models or interesting new techniques thank you